In this lesson, we're going to learn how to utilize XC to control the level of exposure um, inside the timeline. So I'm going to go over here and then uh, use my brush tool. I'm going to increase the size of the brush. May let me make a simple animation over here. So I'm going to turn on my onion skinning right over here. So just start drawing. This is my first frame. And now I'm going to go over here. This is my second frame right over here. So I'm just going to draw on top of it something like an animation right over here, just like this. So you can see that I'm drawing out and there's a bunch of squiggly lines over here going around. So just like this. All right. So once I do that, now you can see that I got a basic animation to work with. So, so now I actually can go over here. Let me just uh, reduce the size of animation right over here. So if I were to play it, you can see that it's an animation right here. Let me just expand the range of animation again. So now let's take a look at the X seed and we're going to control the level of exposure. Suppose you want to animate in twos or you want to choose a frame, then X seed really helps you out. So I'm going to go to Windows and I'm going to go to X seed right over here. And here you can see X seed. If you were to follow the lesson six of my Toon Boom animation series, you'll be able to see uh, that we uh, we talked about X, how X seed is vertical representation of the regular old timeline. So you can see that right now each frame has a separate drawing right over here. So if I want to increase the exposure and animate in twos, I can go to each frame right here, press Shift Plus, and it'll actually add in the frame for me so you can see that now you can see that i'm animating in two so if i were to press play you can see that it animates slow out and then it actually animates in just like this so let me just go into x seat and what i'm going to do with the x seat is uh, i'm just going to drag it over here so it actually uh is over here so let me just uh reduce all of this expand x seat uh there you go Okay, there you go. There's my X seed. I'm going to minimize all of this. So I'm just working with X seed. So I'm going to go over here, press Shift plus right over here, Shift plus, and there you go. I'm animating in twos now. So you can see that how it changes the timeline as well. So I can just press play around and there you go. That's the animation that is happening just like that. And we controlled it with X seed. So now let's say I, I want to add more time so I can just uh, change the timeline right over here. So just like this, I got an animation where the, the fifth frame actually holds around for quite a bit, just like this. So the fifth frame holds around quite a bit. But over here, I want it to go back to the fourth frame. So what I can actually simply do is I can double click over here. I can just type in four. And what that does is it actually brings the fourth frame right here without me having to actually choose out four from over here. So I can just type in the number right here and that frame will appear. So if I were to play this, you can see that now that actually repeats the animation right there and plays around. So I want to do the same over here. So I want three to be here and maybe four again. And uh, maybe over here, I want to add in one more frame. So set plus, and then I'm going to add in uh, double click over here, say five, and there you go. Let's see how the animation works out now. So you got an animation right over here. It goes back, plays around, and then continues playing just like this. So you can modify the frame right over here as well. So you can go over here, you want to get back into uh, some other frame over here, you can actually double click over here, press something like four and the frame is added. But since there's nothing here, you can see that there's nothing added over here. So you can actually add in four, 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 and that frame will be duplicated just like this, as you can see. So you can just type in the number in the X seed and that's how easy it is to control. So just like this from seven, I want to animate it uh, backwards, let's say for example. So I'm going to say six, five, four, three, uh, just double click, three, two, one, right over here. Press Shift plus on all of those. So Shift plus, Shift plus, Shift plus, Shift plus, Shift plus, and there you go. I'm animating it backward. I'm just calling out the frame right over here by working out with the exposure right over here. So I'm duplicating the three right here. So again, I'm going to say four, three again, and there you go. Another way to actually control the frames right here, uh, if you don't want to type in the number, is by using the last bracket keys on your keyboard. So you can just press it and go to the previous frame or the forward frame right over here. So you can go back or you can go forward just like this as well. So that's it. So if I were to play this around, what happens is that it actually animates back and forth as you can see. So let me just uh, decrease the animation right here. So let me just uh, decrease the animation uh, 
area right here. I'm just going to loop this out as well. Let me just play it and you can see that that is how it actually animates. And that is what I did by using the Xseed controller right here. I typed in the frame I want and that is what Exposure Sheet actually helps you to do. So you can also work around with multiple layers and do the same. So it's really easy to recall frames. So you're animating mouth or eyes or something like that and you want to enter an exact frame number, then this can actually be a, a big help. So that is how you can use the uh, exposure controls by using the X sheet inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.